Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Kodelka. Let's go upstairs in the mansion and hope nothing goes horribly wrong. And by that I mean everything's gonna go horribly, horribly wrong because of course it does. It always does. Okay, this looks important. You see a scroll with a picture of a dragon. Uh, Hestia. Cragley means hearth in Greek, so fireplace? There's a fire. Hearth. It's a hearth! It's something to do with this! Go over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it means hearth. What about it? Anything over here? No, it has something to do with that hearth. I'm convinced. Oh, oh, hearth. There's another hearth. Why is there so many hearths? There's no stones, though, so there's no hearthstone. Okay. Anything here? An empty bo- uh, <laughs> The acid! I have to go all the way back to get the acid? Really? Patrick's memo. Um, some rifle rounds. That I can't pick up. <laughs> Can I pick up the other thing that's obviously not rifle rounds? No, I can't. Great. I'm not allowed to have things. Okay, let's throw away all of our rifle rounds. <laughs> rifle, 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 discard. Yes, take those. Now give me this. I can see it! It's obviously there! Give it here! Give me that. Do I have to go over here to get it? Of course I do! Roman nuts. Why are we eating a Roman's nuts? Fireplace, no fire burning. Um, Hestia written the scroll, perhaps she should investigate the fireplace. Yay! Yes, let's go down the ladder. Okay. I got a panacea! Yay! Door. Door not open, looks like it's been designed to use some kind of trick mechanism. Great. Does it have to have anything to do with that specially toilet shaped thing in the bottom right hand corner? Oh great, those are suspiciously differently colored than I remember. At least that one is. It's purple instead of green-brown. Okay, let's tornado you. Um, and then stab you in the face hole. Yay! That's, he still doesn't do too much damage. And you are going to work on your agility. Because we're probably going to need that during the boss fight, especially in the end of the game. From what I remember. I may not have really played through this section. I think I might have played through a part of it or watched some- No, I watched somebody else play through part of it. But that wasn't for like- God, I was in high school when I got this game. When a friend of mine would borrow it and then never got it back. Shh! But that was like seven or eight years ago? Oh god, it's a long time. Mm. All of the mind and one of the vitality. Because we still need to get you over 4,000. Whee! All of the vitality. All of the vitality. So much health. Okay, what's in the toilet seat? Oh, is it a. Wait? Fanda scale, the counterweight attached. Um. Was written on Patrick's memo. Oh, maybe I should have actually read the memo. <laughs> 70 kilograms. Yeah, 70 kilograms. Seven. Zero. Huh? But, 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 <laughs> but, I'm confused. It's the counterweight to that weight. But I did, and it didn't do bull crud.
Maybe this has something to do with it. It says I weigh 45 kilos. So it says I weigh 45 kilos, and that memo apparently said Patrick weighs 70, so do I need to minus them? So... 25 kilos? 25. Oh, there you go! Guess that worked. Now can I go through the door, please? There's a body. Tinderbox! I took the tinderbox. This looks bad. You have to find a way to dispose of Elaine's body. Maybe we should find something. Okay, so it wants me to go find some acid. It wants me to have the acid first. <laughs> Let's go get the acid. I'm assuming that's what it wants me to do. I want to just explore the mansion some more. One of the two. Do -do 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 -do. Just going to dip her into a vat of acid. That's great. No, not that way. Come on, game. Silly controls thinking that you can do things that I tell you not to. We're going to have to go all the frickin' way back over the frickin' there at the frickin' sp We haven't gone through this door yet. It's locked! <laughs> of course it is. Is that important? No. Okay, let's go get ourselves some acid. I'm not entirely sure why we're doing this, but... <laughs> it's bolted. Yes. The bolt has been thrown back. Uh, okay. This makes things a lot easier than I thought they'd be. I was gonna say, please don't make me backtrack that far to go get some acid. So we need the acid, which if I remember correctly is Hi Ogden, hi Bessie, you're dead. Whoops, wrong button. So we need to go all the way back down towards where the green room was with uh our poor, unfortunate Charlotte, and get us some acid from a little vat of acid there. I don't remember because I came across the acid, I think in the original playthrough and while I was remaking the save file. Come on. And hopefully we'll be able to do something about Elaine's corpsicle. No, I don't want to save. Go away. Health is nice, I'll thank you for that. It'd be very, very helpful if I could just open that door. You know, the one over there? Wait a minute. That door wouldn't happen. Nah. Okay, so let's use a tornado on you. Aww, he thinks that he can do things. That's cute. <laughs> He's gonna be dead before he can do anything. Cause I'm gonna stab him. Like that. That was a lot more damage than I thought that too. Good job, Edward. Why, thank you. Why does it- Whenever I voice act anybody, they sound like chain smokers. Because you're really bad at coming up with individual voices. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, you wanna see what I'm going to do to you now? I'm not going to like this, am I? Now you're going to be a little girl voice! What are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a little girl! Oh, god damn it! <laughs> That's what you get for pissing me off while I am controlling you. Well, I have control over your body. Dun dun dun! I got a J-ring! I don't know what that is, if it's better than my stuff, but we got one. That's a lot of piety. Not as good as that, though. Ooh. Yes, please. He definitely needs more piety. Just so we can keep magic off of his bum. Because unlike Edward and Cody, 
or no, unlike James and Cody, yeah, Edward can't take, Edward cannot take magic worth a damn. We should probably talk to Bacon too while we're at this. Because Bacon probably knows all about Elaine and the emigrate document, if I had to guess. And I think... I actually have no idea where he is. Come on. There we go. Library! I need acid. So much acid, I don't know what I'm going to use the acid for yet, except maybe to dissolve a body. But, huh. This is still a very long way to go about this. It's probably forcing me to go this way for a reason. Got a weird feeling about all this. Hmm. I feel like I missed something back there. Might have to go find Bacon in his little place so we can talk to him. You know, in his coffin. Because I think that's just above... Yeah, I think it was just above that clock down there. We'll get it on the way back. Hello! Hello, hello! Time to die horribly. Because that's what I do to monsters like you. I murder your face. Because I am three protagonists. None of which are really more important than the others. Except for Edward, because that is a lot of damage for a physical attack. Let's see here. You need to have Agi. Agi for agility. And then everyone dies! Except for me, because I'm the protagonist and I'm not supposed to do that. Depending on the ending I get. <laughs> I know enough what I need to do to get the separate endings, so... We shall see what happens in the end of the game. Oh, I got some sea mail. I only spent like an hour and a half trying to get that earlier. Better than what I have? No. 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 Duh! So it's bullcred, that's what it is. Ooh. Is that better than what you got? No. Still no! <laughs> okay, then we're gonna throw it out. Discard. Dis of the card. We need to get some acid. We need to get some acid. And go find an Elaine. And a Roger Bacon. Seriously, his last name's Bacon. Who... Who has the last name of Bacon? And if so, can I please meet them? Because Bacon is a pretty badass name. I mean, I know we've got Kevin Bacon, but... Roger Bacon? Just, just picture, like... I don't, I, don't, I don't even know, like a rod made of pork? A rod made of bacon? Just rod jer bacon? Roger, Roger. Shut up, it's funny. And I'm just trying to find things to talk about while I'm backtracking all the way to hell and back. Boop. Boop, boop, bee doop. We're almost there. Whew. I think the acid's right over here. Game. I'm just saying, please do not freeze on me. It is filled with acid. I have some acid. I got a bottle of acid. Okay. I'm going to be right back once I find Roger Bacon. That way, you guys don't have to listen to me rambling so much. See y'all in a minute. So apparently... <laughs> you see this area? I didn't even see that, that was a door and a bunch of staircases. Let's go see if this is where I need to go. I hope it is, because if not, well, I don't know where I'm going. Because I couldn't find bacon! I could not find my bacon. Oh. Uh. 
Okay. What's here? What's that? It's hollow when you hit it, there must be a hidden door on this wall. Then destroy it? <laughs> What's this? Looks like you can move the statue if you try. Yes, let's move it. Oh, and then everything's dark and I can open the door. Oh, I found Roger Bacon! How did he lock the door behind him? And if he didn't, how did he get in here? Can he turn into sand and, you know, flit through the lock like in The Mummy? It's around here somewhere. Hmm. What's well, around where? What took you so long? Roger, the mummy I have in the coffin? Since when have you two been acquainted? I am no mummy! My no, name is Roger Bacon, yet. and I'm just like any normal old man. Hey, I've been around for 20 years, and I have yet to run across an old man as abnormal as yourself. I abnormal? See. Well, I've been around for <laughs> Oh, he's only 20. He's... Years, and I've oh my god, it looks younger than me. Normal people just like myself. My dear old I man. I feel old. Might you be related to the great warlock Roger Bacon, who made such a name for himself in the 13th century? <laughs> you are very knowledgeable. Hmm, I am He that said that so angrily. Roger Bacon, you speak of. You mean to tell me that you were born in 1210 and have remained alive and well until the present date of 1898? Actually, to yep. be precise, I was born in 1214. Kudelka, what type of a joke is this? That's my question. It's not a joke. Is a joke? I am the reputable Roger Bacon. Very well, then. If you were truly that Roger Bacon, then you'll be able to tell me with whom and where you studied. Oh, that's easy. I entered Oxford in 1247 and studied under the tutelage of Robert Grosteste. Although it oh, well, doesn't I would not see all to be smart. a wise man. I penned my masterpiece, Opus Myers, as well as numerous other books on natural science. Being a visionary pioneer, he's so angry. I must say he's that such an angry my little man. Influenced generations of work that followed, but alas, in hindsight, that work pales in comparison to the work I did copying the immigre document for the Pope. The immigre documents. He knows what's in it. About that book. Of course. He knows exactly what's in the immigrant right document. to copy the book in its entirety. I know everything wow. there is to know That's about That's a long the time. Book. What is it about? Oh, is it, it unravels the secrets of life that expand far beyond the largest field. It speaks of the secret rituals conducted by the ancient race of Fomors on immortality. The Fomors would claim the lives of the resurrected as their own. They reversed the laws of nature and the cycle of life. So that's how when the he's Druids alive, took probably. Over the Celts, Alexander the Great penned the emigre documents in Greek for placement in the Great Library. Resurrecting the dead. And then Alexandria oh, burned down. This document has long been considered the most dangerous work of literature. It was safely guarded in the caverns of the Supreme Pontiff's quarters. But he almost looked like he was trying to the grab poor James' dick. He was not able to withstand the wares of time over generations. And the Pope decreed that a new edition be created by copying the full text. That is where I came in. The Pope requested that I copy the book word for word. And when the work was finished, apparently, I was supposed to be killed. Oh, that's not very nice. I am not one to be dealt with so carelessly. I secretly escaped, and eventually I made my way to the sacred land referred to in the text of the immigre document. So the here at the Nevitt Monastery. But don't tell me. You need look no further than myself. And you succeeded. Hmm. Although I cannot perform the same on others, yes, I have been able to escape the hands of death. But, but I have you not look been like able death. To escape the roots of existence, which are the seeds of change. My body is not immune to change, as you can oh, see. Oh, his body still got old. He just can't die. I've had nothing to do other than roam the earth for the last 300 years. I've seen all I can take of mankind's cruelty. So, I returned here for some rest. 
Well, um, oh, sorry I disturbed your rest. To do. You ain't going to sleep for another, like, two games. May I ask to be left alone? No. No. I'm gonna keep talking to you. I'm gonna keep talking to you. If the game will load. Bacon! Bacon? Um, bacon! Let's turn around and talk to bacon again. Oh my god. <laughs> I do talk to bacon again. Okay. Bacon! Thank you, PlayStation 2. Thank you, Steiner. I Steiner's the name I of the PS2. I here. I put it here. Uh, yeah, like 200 years ago. Have you come round to see me again? I want you to look at this. Oh, it's the, the notes that I found. Journals. I want you to tell us whether what's written there can actually happen or not. Well, whatever's well, written there, because we see. didn't actually read it. Hmm. Yes, yes, I see. Oh, that's right. Resurrecting the dead. Ooh. A cauldron. The Branwyn Tales, indeed. I should probably yes. read that, shouldn't I? It is <laughs> most likely that the events detailed here did take place. Just as I thought. That's not good. But that's so frightening that Personally, it... Personally, I have not attempted it. I am certain that the immigrant document contained accounts of secret rituals... Conducted to rest. He probably the has bed. the worst possible no, back, because that is not a way you want to be this, sitting with your back. It involves complicated preparatory Stand in, work. Sorry. I had given up discerning the impossibility of using the psychic powers necessary to create such an immense psychic platform. Moreover, I never expected that people would attempt to challenge such a feat. The journals say that the physical body was resurrected, but not the soul. Absolutely. The ancients held uh, the secret to life take in the, the soul? palm of their hands. <laughs> but they could never come close to touching the secrets of the soul. They resurrected the dead in order to use their physical bodies as a workforce, thus building the great civilization we oftentimes speak of. In fact, we would not Atlantis? be far off if we called them a puppeteers. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, did they make Atlantis? Body as an object. If so, then we Yes, they... resurrecting the dead and restoring them to life as it was before death is in. Possible. Then how do you return the resurrected body once again to Earth? Burn it! That kill it with fire! Is a very kill it with fire! Complicated question, since no, kill it, it with fire. It already defies universal logic. Please. It is no easy task. Tell me how. It's Woody Lane, God rest her soul, wanted. Right. <laughs> it is not absolutely impossible. Uh, but I would need to call forth the sacred powers in order to complete such a feat. Okay. Mm. Oh, Explain. Yes. I know that the arm of Daniel Scotius, Ooh, the I've man got that. who built this monastery, is stored in a stone statue on the ground. If no, it's not. I have it. <laughs> if we I actually have it on me. That into a cauldron, we will successfully destroy the roots of the tree of life. Oh, after that, I haven't a clue whether to call forth the energies of fire or entrust the task to water. Oh, it is so complicated. Fire. Oh, they're having oh, issues. Fire. What are we going to do? Oh, heavenly So kill it with fire. Bless our souls. How is this even a question? forth and end to this suffering. Oh. Hmm. I was gonna say, how is this even a question? Just burn it with fire. Uh, I've got Daniel's arm. I've had Daniel's arm for like a couple hours now. <laughs> Game. Thank you. So, does Bacon have anything else to say? Bacon! Bacon has Bobcast! Great.
but that is also it for this video. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Codelka. See you all.